Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? If you remember many years ago, I made a video about White Castle hamburgers. I ended up blowing a gasket, losing my mind over corporate greed. I also picture the founders of White Castle rolling over their graves to what White Castle has become today compared to how it was back then. But through a lot of therapy and medication, I've gotten over it. Well, at least I thought I had gotten over it. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to watch it, but I gotta warn you, it's not kid friendly. That was until I found the White Castle chicken and cheese sliders. Sounds pretty good, huh? I mean, there is a crave right now going over chicken sandwiches at every fast food joint. People waiting in lines for hours for a chicken sandwich, getting in fights, getting shot, all of this could have been avoided if White Castle would have come out with their chicken and cheese sliders first. Because nobody's going to fight over these. I usually don't start off a review with a negative tone, but it's just avoidable with these. But I always have been, and always will, be truthful to you, the people. So let's get started with the review and the unfortunate taste test. This 11.36 ounce box of four sliders costs five dollars and ninety nine cents. That's a dollar fifty a slider, which is about a dollar forty nine too much. Now you remember this. Look at the top right hand corner of this box. It says easy to heat, fun to eat. We'll come back to that in a few minutes. And here it is again. Easy to heat. Fun to eat. Ready, set, crave, savory melted American cheese. Question mark. Check. What the hell does that mean? Are you selling a chicken slider or cheese slider? Soft signature bun. Question mark. Check. Crispy, tender, 100% white meat chicken. Question mark. Cluck. Yeah, I understand that. What the cluck? I'm not even going to finish reading because it's a waste of my time and you, the people's time. Are they trying to launch the shuttle or sell a chicken sandwich? What's with all the checks? And here's the list of ingredients if you want to take the time to read them. It would probably be a quicker read to read Stormy Daniel's Black Book. For a packet of two chicken and cheese sliders, there's 390 calories, 14 grams of total fat, 4.5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 50 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,120 milligrams of sodium, 44 grams of carbohydrates, 2 grams of fiber, 3 grams of sugars, and 22 grams of protein. And here we go. Remember the top right hand corner of the box? It says easy to heat and fun to eat. And that's a bunch of BS because it took me longer to read these directions than it did to cook the sandwiches. And the only way to heat them up is in the microwave. So you're kind of stuck with this novel like set of directions. I mean, this is bathroom grade reading material. I can hear it now. Honey, why have you been in the bathroom so long? Well, I'm trying to read the directions on how to heat up these damn White Castle chicken and cheese sliders. And that was Skeeter, Scooter's brother. And he's a whole lot smarter than Scooter is. Scooter likes to read picture books, not word books. So to save you, the people, the boredom of watching me unwrap something and then wrap it up and then microwaving it, and then wrapping it up again, and then microwaving it again, I just went ahead and did it. And to be perfectly honest, they didn't look or smell bad at all. So it was finally time to give them a try. And my poor incisors had a hard time getting through the chicken. And for the sandwich, that was impressive, but not in a good way. I have incisors the size of Mr. Ed. So once my incisors got a good bite, it was time to put the molars to work. And it was at this point, I thought someone had to be playing a joke on me. 
because to be fair, the bite of the sandwich looked really good. Do you guys remember the old paddle with the ball on it that was tethered to the ball? Well, the texture of the chicken tasted like you were eating the ball. And needless to say, bread doesn't do good in the microwave, so I'm not holding that against the sandwich. But it also tasted like crab. I always like to give the benefit of the doubt, so I took one more bite, and it was just as bad as the first bite. I mean, who knows? Maybe I just got a bad piece of chicken. Let's put it this way. My grandson loves Chick-fil-A sauce. He eats it on everything. And this is how he doctors up a Popeye's chicken sandwich. So I'm not really sure he even likes the sandwich or just the sauce to cover up the sandwich. But I'm pretty sure that much Chick-fil-A sauce wouldn't have helped the White Castle sandwiches. But let's go off course just for a second. I'm not a fan of Popeye's chicken sandwiches either. The best thing they have going for them is the pickles. So I had one more pack of the White Castle chicken and cheese sliders. And I knew for a fact I wasn't going to give them to anyone I loved. Even Bella the Wonder Dog. My neighbors? Maybe. But they're the type of people if you put lipstick on a pig, they take them out on a Friday night. And there's not a chance in the world the gums would bite through the sandwich. Speaking of my neighbors, I'm really going off base on this video for some reason. But if you haven't seen the series Hatfields and McCoys, watch it. It's really good. So back to the cow pies. I mean sandwiches. Me being the genius I am, I decided to heat them up a different way. So I disassembled the sandwiches per the directions. And instead of microwaving the patty, I threw it in the air fryer. I'm thinking this has got to be genius. Then I put the cheese on top of the chicken and let it air fry for about 5 seconds just to melt the cheese. And then I put the buns in the microwave for about 3 seconds just to soften them up. And then into the pie hole and down the gullet it went. And it almost came up the gullet faster than it went down the gullet. Well needless to say, I don't believe you guys think that I'm going to score these sandwiches. I think you know how I feel by now. Whoever came up with this great idea for these sandwiches, marketed these sandwiches, and actually put them on the shelves of local grocery stores, absolutely deserves a free ride to the train station from Rip Wheeler. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.